Hey, everybody, it's Friday, as you know, and as we head into the weekend, why don't we jog your musical memory with this little gem? All right, everybody, that, of course, is Glass Tiger with Someday. And if you're wondering, why are you guys playing this this morning? Well, it's because uh, not only is it an amazing song, but also we are sharing some Glass Tiger news as we're catching up with one of the founding members. That member, original drummer Michael Hansen. His latest project is very personal, a mini documentary on the death of his cousin Jackie. And Michael joins us this morning in studio. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Um, well, we're going to get to your documentary in a moment, but mm -hmm. any Anytime I hear Glass Tiger music, I get so nostalgic. What do you mm -hmm. think about when you see and hear your music? I just think uh, about how many times I've actually heard it. Because, I mean, when you're recording it, you're recording it hundreds and hundreds of times. And so I usually just listen to it for a few seconds and flip the station. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I've uh, been there, done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we had Kim Mitchell on the show last week, and he called you, quote, one of Canada's most prolific songwriters. Mm -hmm. And uh, you recently wrote a song entitled The Girl That Love Forgot. So this was a, a fictional song about a fictional girl. However, it ended up having an uncanny tie to a personal tragedy that you experienced in your own life related to your cousin, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Can you share her story with us? Yeah, Jackie uh, committed suicide in 2015 due to mental health reasons. Um, she went to a, a very, a very dark place. Uh, tried to get help, but probably not early enough. Um, and uh, as a result, uh, uh, unbeknownst to us, most of her family, all of her family, other than her mother, uh, she had these these ongoing issues and uh, took her own life. Unfortunately. Um, it's very, very sad indeed. Uh, but you decided to create a mini documentary mm -hmm. um, about her and her life because you want to help raise awareness for mental health issues. Yep. So what do you hope that people, viewers, take away from the piece that you made? Well, The Girl That Love Forgot Itself, the song, um, was written before any of this happened not afterwards. We dedicated it to, to, to Jackie, but the thing was is we decided to write this, or I decided to write this just at a, it was a random thought. Um, I have a studio in uh, Mississauga where I'm a producer and I write soundtracks, biographies, uh, for uh, documentaries, all that sort of stuff. Um, work with a number of charities, including TenFed, T-shirt on, they feed children, uh, wonderful company, uh, political blind date, all that stuff. And one day I got a call from a friend who asked me to break away from all that, take some time off, and actually write something for myself. And uh, I sat down and wrote the song, The Girl That Love Forgot, about a fictional character. Mm -hmm. uh, it had nothing to do with Jackie at the time, um, which songwriters are want to do, uh, because we, we just reach out and grab whatever comes our way as far as writing songs. Uh, in the end, um, we did the song, I did the song, I was happy with it, um, we shot a video for it, and then, um, we had this terrible family tragedy with Jackie. Um, now, as the next months progressed, I looked at the song, and as we're starting to heal, and we're just in distress, um, I, I realized the song had direct connection mm. to Jackie's life. It was a mirror image prior to the, act, uh, the situation. Um, it was tragic, and, and uh, I thought, we can maybe do something here to get the message out to people. And that was the idea. So I, once, once that was done and the, the, the video followed, then the biography came after that. And we decided to, to do something to get the message uh, to help uh, in the fight against mental health and issues. And please tell our viewers uh, where they can watch your documentary. Uh, the viewers can see the documentary on Facebook. There's a link. Um, I think you guys have the link to that. Uh, it's also on YouTube. Um, and of course, we've got the song itself, which is uh, the official video for the song, not to be confused with the mini documentary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for that work. Um, I imagine that this has been very difficult, and yet um, I think you're going to help a lot of people by doing this. So thank you for sharing your project with us. I hope so, and I probably should mention that um, a wonderful thing. We have now dedicated 100% of the publishing from the song to uh, two wonderful organizations. Uh, let me just put my glasses on here to make sure I get it right. Uh, Aurelia Soldiers Memori Memorial Hospital and also the Ontario Shores Foundation. 
Um, I spoke to Aurelia. They're going to use the money from the song uh, to create more calm rooms and quiet rooms because mm -hmm. people come in and in, in distress mm -hmm. and uh, need help. So uh, hopefully that, that will do a good thing. And I just want to encourage all people who have mental health problems to get into the system, mm -hmm. say something, get your family involved, and understand that it is not a weakness. It, it is not perceived as being a weakness. It is an epic strength to be able to admit that you're having yeah, these yeah. problems. Had we known about Jackie, um, had we been able to get involved, the situation probably would have turned out differently. So you got to get in early. You got to pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. It'll save your life. I believe that people will accept and gather around you and put their arms around you mm -hmm. and help you. The world's changing. We so really appreciate that's it. That's the message there. Thank you for your part, a big part that you're playing in that conversation. Michael, thanks for joining us Oh, I'm today. happy to. Thank, Thank you. you.